All right, guys. Um, you should have just finished transcription, translation, and now uh, what else did we just finish? Transcription, translation. Okay, code on chart, table version. Now this one is the wheel version. Okay, wheel, circle, whatever. It's, it's a round shape. That's the whole point. So again, on the top of the page, you should write code on chart, a chart that maps out the specific amino acid that matches with the specific codon. Okay, this version again is a wheel. Um, we're going to use the same uh, format or the same codon as we did on uh, 50, just so it's consistent and you have an idea of what you're doing. Okay, so how this wheel works, it, or again, remind you, table is left, top, right. If you don't know what I'm referencing, you need to go back and watch that video again. But if you are clear, we can move on to the wheel. The wheel is inside out. So notice there is a bunch of um, repeating patterns of A, C, G, and U. You start from the center point, which are the these big old letters, these really large fonts. You go from here and then you go outwards until you find the amino acid that you're looking for. So again, A, U, G. We're going to use the same colors as we did yeah, last time. Uh, green, yellow, and pink. So again, first letter is A. Color the largest A in the center green. So there it is. I've already colored mine. And when, when, it's, when you're coloring, we're only going to be focusing on that particular section of the wheel. So what I mean by that is everything else that's not touching this A is going to be unimportant. Now don't color over yours, but I'm going to color over this as uh, so you can visually see what I'm talking about. So like all this stuff up here, not important. Okay? Because none of the letters following the smaller letters next to it are touching the A. See how there's three rows of, or three circles of letters? Okay, then anything touching the C, not important either. Okay, remember, you're not supposed to be coloring in your wheel so you can't see it. It's a reference for you to use. But I'm doing this because this is a video and I can do whatever I want and I want you to have a really good visual of what I'm trying to say. Because this concept uh, is hard for some people to, to get. And it takes a little bit of practice and it takes a little bit of time. Oh, there's my eraser. I can clean that up a little bit. Okay. So now we've got the A. I'm going to zoom in too. Since... Okay, next letter is U. So notice it goes G, so G is not important anymore. Let me color that one in. A is not important either. And C isn't important. So all we're left with are those two options right there. And when I mean two options, I mean for the amino acids. All right. So A, U, okay, then we've got G in one box, and then A, C, U in another. Now let me explain. In the table, every letter was by itself. And you could see that some of the, uh, whatchamacallit, some of the amino acids, <sighs> some of the amino acids were repeating. You could see the same one a couple of different times. Well, what they did for the wheel is they combined those um, amino acids and see, saw if they had a common, uh, common codon sequence. And they put them together. So isoleucine, that's how you pronounce it, isoleucine has a common uh, beginning. They both start with A and U. And then the, the third letter is what makes them different. Oh, my phone just went off. AUA makes isoleucine. AUC makes isoleucine. AUU makes isoleucine. Okay? 
Now, again, there are only 20 possible combination or amino acids. So, there are thousands of combinations of letters to choose from between A, U, G, and C. All, all those, there's four options and there's three slots. The, the possibilities are endless. So, sometimes they're going to repeat, and that's okay. But we're not focused really on A U A A U C or A U U. We're focused on A U G. So you can go ahead and and uh, I'm gonna visually cross that box out, and then you should be coloring the G in pink. All right, so I mean, visually, what what do you what are you left with at this point? We're left with methionine. It's all pointing. It's almost as if we're going down a straight line, and we're pointing to methionine by the way we travel. Okay. So again, that's A U G leads you to methionine, and I chose that one. So. Th excuse me, so that you can see how to go from both. And then we glue this in so that you have a reference because we're going to be doing a lot of practice. I We see this all the time on the star and on your tests. We see the, the sequencing of DNA being very important and understanding how the sequences work and how they're building amino acids and, and what's the pattern and the uh, all that good stuff. Okay, now I'm I'm sorry I couldn't be here today, but this is a great substitute. If you have any questions, please uh, you can email me at at fam p h a m c for Christina at l i s d dot net. Uh, if not, I'll see you in class. All right, bye guys.